In this session, we will see how to add and use an external Maven dependency in a decision manager project in Business Central. To start with, let's first define the Maven project. And then later, this Maven project can be added as a dependency in the decision manager project. So here is a simple Maven project, which has a class called function utility. And this class has a method called isPrime, which checks whether a given number is a prime number or not. Taking a quick look at the pom.xml of this project, we have the group ID, artifact ID, and the version number defined for this project. And also we have the packaging defined as jar. Now that the Maven project is ready, let's go ahead and package it into a jar and upload it to an external Maven repository, which is going to be Nexus in this case. On executing this Maven deploy command, the Java archive will first get generated and then it will get uploaded to the configured Nexus repository. Taking a quick look at the Nexus repository, we can see that the artifact has got uploaded and we can use this Maven artifact as a dependency in a decision manager project in Business Central. In order to do that, let's first go to the specific project in Business Central and go to the settings tab and dependencies and define the GAV coordinates of the dependency, the group ID, artifact ID, and the version number of the Maven artifact that we had uploaded to Nexus just now. Once this is defined, Business Central will be able to determine the dependency and then we will be able to use this dependency to define any of the rules inside a decision manager project. But then the biggest question is how exactly Business Central will be able to determine where exactly this dependency is. In order to specify that to Business Central, there is a specific property which is called keyMavenSettings.custom, and this property has to be defined in the standalone full.xml of the Business Central, and its value should be pointing to a custom settings.xml. And this settings.xml file will be specifying the specific repository details where we have uploaded the Maven artifact. And since this repository is a secured repository, which requires authentication to be able to access the artifacts, we could also specify the credentials of that repository in the same settings.xml. Once this is defined, Business Central now will be able to identify this artifact in that specific repository that we have specified in the settings.xml. With that said, let's go ahead and use the specific method, isPrime method that we have defined inside this dependency and use it in a specific rule. But before we do that, let's first create a fact model. So we have a data object, which is called given number, and it has two fields. The first one being a value field, which is of type integer. And the second one is a result field, which is of type string. With the data object and the Maven dependency defined, let's go ahead and use both of these and create a rule. So let's create a simple rule, which is going to use the function utility as well as the data object that we have created just now. So the first step in defining the rule would be to import both those classes. So the first one being the function utility class and the second one being the given number data object. Then in the rule, let's specify the given number and take the value field from the given number and feed it into the function utility dot is prime method. So now this will invoke the is prime method and 
get the output of the execution of that method and set it to the result field inside the given number data object. Once the rule is defined, let's go ahead and test this rule. But before we could test it, let's first build the project to see if the build is successful. As we can see, the build is successful. This means the business central is now able to connect to the, to the Nexus repository and it's able to get the dependency into its local Maven repository. And as a result of that, it is able to build this project successfully. Now, in order to test this rule, let's create a test scenario. And in this test scenario, we are going to test uh, two different numbers. The first one being 19, which is a prime number. So if this number is provided to the rule, the rule execution will invoke the function utility.isPrime and we expect the result to be true because 19 is a prime number. Whereas if we provide a composite number like 86, the function will evaluate it to false. So this is the expected set of result that we expect from this rule execution. So let's execute this test scenario and see how well the function is going to get invoked. And as we can see, both of these rules have been executed successfully. And we can see that the custom function that we have added to the decision manager project was invoked successfully by the rules and it provided the expected output. With that, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.